everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do, well tonight actually, I'm going to do a Drunk Elephant Nightly tutorial for you all. Um, here's just a few of the things I use. Um, I use actually several different products from them. So um, it's a great brand. Um, before we get started on any of the in-depthness, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and ring the notification bell to be notified every Monday and Wednesday for when I go to post my videos. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, please feel free. They are links or um, usernames are in the description box below or also on my channel or on my homepage. You can click and it'll link you straight to my page. So let's dive right on in. So all of my makeup is usually already all the way off. I've used um, either a makeup wipe or a makeup cleanser um, to take it all off. And then I go back in with the Drunk Elephant Busty Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. I put a little bit into my hands, put some water on it, rub it together, and then rub it all into my face. Sometimes down my neck depending on the... Um, day and time and how much I have and then I go back in water warm water rinse it off and then I pet it all dry with a nice clean towel and my skin feels very very good after doing this um this routine is specifically for a very oily acne prone skin as you can tell all the way across here um, unfortunately hormones has caused this otherwise it's usually been really clean lately which is kind of really nice since I started using this stuff so the first thing that I go into after cleaning my face is the Shaba Complex Eye Serum. Um, I click it up, turn it up, get just about a pea size in my hand. As you can see here, dab it between the two of my fingers and then go underneath my eyes here, mostly. Rub it in really, really well and I go around my eyes too to help with the wrinkles right in here that I get sometimes that I've been having trouble with when doing my eyeshadow. Okay, from there, I go in with the retinol cream she has. Um, I do, do, do recommend mixing this with the Hydra B or the Marula Oil or both of them together before applying straight to your skin. Um, but because I have a very strong skin and I know this is going against a whole lot of stuff. Um, I go kind of straight in with the retinol cream. I've seen it's been most effective right in here when I'm doing that. So I take just a little, little dot. I mean very very little. I mean it's not much and I rub it right into my forehead. Um, I don't really like putting retinol cream anywhere near my eyes so that will be definitely will be one thing I will not <laughs> be doing and once I feel like that's rubbed in really 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 nicely I will jump to the next thing which is the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum seen here you just twist it pops up I do about a pea sized pump onto my hand and rub it into my cheeks here get it up good closer to my nose and like halfway through my chin and across my mouth I will do another pea size on the other finger of my other side and go right into town in here making sure I kind of stay pulling upwards not down I have a tendency to pull it down on my sides. Then I'll take just a little bit more and go straight into my forehead. And then I typically close it and go back in with both. So I have a big, big forehead. And rub it in really nicely. Okay, there we go. And then, last but not least, I take some of the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. It's in a little thingy here, and I will just squeeze a very little amount. And I put this just specifically on my nose. I have really clogged pores in my nose. And this has seemed to really, really help impress them. Um, it doesn't really... I don't get too many blackheads on my nose anymore, which is really, really nice. That used to be a really big problem of mine. 
during um, the hormonal times of the month. Um, I've been doing this nightly for the past two weeks. My skin has completely improved. I've loved it. I use the retinol cream about three times a week, sometimes maybe two, depends on if I remember to put it in. Um, some nights I'm so tired I'm just gonna like rub it in there real quickly and kind of going on. Um, this brand is um, vegan free, cruel cruelty free, so it's a really amazing brand. Yes, it's on the higher end of the price tag, but if you have super sensitive skin like I do, it's really not that. It's more justifiable buying because it's got none of these harmful chemicals in it that other brands use that really attack my face. I mean, I've tried to go on completely vegan, cruelty-free makeup besides my foundation, unfortunately. It's the only thing that seems to really not hurt my skin and last real long with the oily foundation. But that is exactly what I do every night for my um, cleansing routine and everything. Um, and skincare. My skin feels really baby soft right now and I'm like oh. and this like thing that I have over here is like really gone down which is kind of grateful. This thing's starting to go down. I don't know the ones are like right here stay forever which kind of suck. But that is my video for today. Well tonight sorry. <laughs> but um, if you all ended up liking this video please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in my next video.